Each 2K, we strive to learn the ins and outs of how to not lose by 30 every game. Certain tips don't carry over based on what's effective and what's not in that year's game, and some do, especially on the defensive side of the ball. So with this video, I'm going to go over 5 defensive tips you must know to succeed in NBA 2K19. So right, let's get it. First off, and probably the most important thing to know in defense is to always be ready to contest the shot. And to contest the shot, you put the left stick on the controller up. Yeah, you're not going to cause them to miss every shot because some guys are really just that good. But they're also going to make a lower percentage of these shots than they would have if you just stood there. This especially comes in handy in preventing you from jumping at every potential shot and giving up even worse ones to your opponent. So drilling it into your head that you can test instead of trying to block everything helps you become more patient. And yeah, you might get that high like block every once in a while hitting the wire or triangle, but you will also lower the opponent's shooting percentage more consistently contesting every shot. Another thing that doesn't hurt to get good at is knowing when to go for steals. Now we're not going to be like the computer and play like a Hall of Famer getting 10 steals a game and committing no fouls. That won't happen. But we can be way more aware of the window at which we can pick the ball from them. Now to start, you attempt to steal by hitting square on PlayStation and X on Xbox. You can wait for the ball handler to expose the ball to your liking. What I mean by that is you can wait for the ball to switch to let's say his right hand and then strike. If they're careless where defenders are positioned and stick with the ball in one hand, it's an easy way to just run up on them and steal their cookies as well. Or obviously when the big puts the ball on the floor without his back to the basket, or a ball handler who stops briefly in the paint, these are all windows where you can get a quick steal. It's all about just waiting for the ball handler to expose the ball and take your shot. You want your opponent to be 100% aware of where he's putting the ball at. Now I hate to admit this, but the computer plays some lockdown defense in this year's game, and you're better off letting the computer guard the ball handler more times than you do. You want to play off ball until your opponent proves to you that they can beat the CPU defense. So you really shouldn't feel any shame in playing off ball this year. Last year? Yeah. This year, not so much. Now playing off ball or on ball, you still want to be active on defense. And what I mean by that is combining everything I just went over with knowing how to switch fast to more dangerous threats, or when the ball is there for the taking, you strike it immediately. One thing I've gotten used to is when my opponent tries to drive to the paint from the wing position, if they have a teammate in the corner, I'll switch on and hit the steal button quickly as he goes by to test my luck and see if I can get a steal or at least disrupt his drive. Or in pick and roll situations, being active with the big man to make the ball handler indecisive. Or even on like fast breaks, you see Klay Thompson streaking open, click on the nearest defender and try to intercept it. Although the on-ball computer defense is great this year, your success playing defense is still going to come down to your decisions and how fast you make them. And lastly, know your opponent and how you want them to beat you. Do you want Klay Thompson going 10 for 11 from 3 or Iguodala? So having your defensive settings right is a huge part in having the computer play how you want and what you're willing to give up. And you can find a further explanation on the NBA 2K19 settings in the link down below. Sorry sports gamers, do you agree with the list? And if not, what's a defensive tip for beginners that you would like to share? Let us know in the comments down below. And stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more NBA 2K19 content. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching. And be good, y'all.